Hey family, today we want to give you an update about how the International Churches of Christ are responding to the coronavirus. Obviously, there's no way we could discuss every church in every country, but here's a few things we thought you should know. As of the filming of this video, China and Italy are the two countries with the highest number of coronavirus cases. Disciples Today published this message from our brothers and sisters in China. Up to now, we are grateful that there are no cases of our disciples in China, mainland China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Macau, being affected personally. On March 10th, Disciples Today published this message from the church in Milan, Italy. We've gone three weeks without meeting altogether, and going forward, we may not even be allowed to leave our homes. Up to now, we've yet to have any of our brothers and sisters here test positive for the virus. Though some are in self-quarantine, all schools and universities are closed, and most are working from home. We also want to give you an update about the World Discipleship Summit in Orlando, Florida. The conference planners are monitoring the crisis, and they understand that many other conferences from other groups have already been canceled or postponed. But on March 12th, they announced that the WDS conference is still scheduled to happen this July as planned. However, they remain open to the idea of canceling as things develop. Here's what they said. We have no way of knowing what the health and travel landscape will look like in the next three to four months, but we remain hopeful that this time will allow for more significant containment of COVID-19, as well as a greater restoration of peace in a world now gripped with fear over this issue. We cannot advise you whether or not to cancel your plans at this juncture. Each of you can make that decision. On our end, we have substantially reduced cancellation fees and delayed registration increases to try to lessen the burden of this decision. We are writing it out and long to see the hand of God intervene and make his name great through this unprecedented series of events. So please pray that God will continue to protect and bless the disciples all around the world. Pray that churches will know what to do and pray for the organizers of the World Discipleship Summit. Zach and I understand that soon many churches may begin holding their regular weekly events in small groups rather than as a large congregation in a public area. We also understand that disciples may want access to spiritual materials that they can use and talk about together each week. So here at the Kidogo YouTube channel, we want to make videos each week to help meet this need. As it would happen, we were already planning on releasing a spiritual movie made by disciples on March 31st. It's actually a documentary called Finding Guy. It tells a story of how a gay man left his life of homosexuality behind after he found Jesus. It's high quality, fun, and full of spiritual principles. We are grateful to be able to serve during this time, and we hope that thousands of disciples will watch this movie and the other spiritual videos on our channel. Finally, April 19th is Global Communications Day for the International Churches of Christ. It's a day to get informed about the various ways to stay connected in this digital age. We'll make a video with all the details. Just please show it to your church on April 19th. Much love. God bless.